Hey, we're gonna do some bacon in the cast iron skillet. And let me tell you, it's gonna be good too. So I've got my skillet already here. Got my bacon, got everything ready for you. And so we just gonna test it and see how hot it is. Put a little water in there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So we're gonna, we're gonna fry our bacon. And you ask, well, did you put anything in the skillet? Yes, you never put anything in the skillet when it's dry. So we're gonna cook some bacon in some bacon grease here. So we're gonna get us out some of this bacon grease. Now it won't take a lot, but you don't want, you don't want to do uh, bacon or anything, nothing, nothing in a dry pan, all right? So we, we, we gotta put this bacon grease in this skillet and let me tell you, you use these skillets like this and some bacon grease like that, look at there. Yeah, boy, it makes your food happy and you want happy food, all right? So we're gonna fix it, we fix it to make about half of this bacon right here really happy, all right? Get some couple of pot holder, cause I like my hands. I don't wanna mess them up none. Not this morning, no way. All right, now. When you're doing meat in the skillet, you want it to sizzle. You want it to sizzle, all right? So we're gonna put this in here. Oh yeah, that's good. That's what you wanna hear. Yeah, this is good thick bacon. Yeah. We just gonna do one skillet of bacon this morning. Yeah. One skillet. Be careful now, you don't wanna get, don't wanna get burned or hurt. All right, here we are cooking our bacon. We're fixing to put this lid on here if you don't want it to splatter everywhere. So put this lid on here like that, see? And then we're just gonna let that bacon go. Little high side of medium, not really medium high, all right? So we're gonna let that cook just a minute and then we're gonna turn it over. I like my bacon crispy, I really do. I like them really crispy, so I like to leave them in there till they almost burnt. That's the way I do it. Now you want it chewy and nasty like that, then take it out early, all right? Don't let it get all crispy on you, okay? I'm gonna take this little bowl right here, we're gonna set it here. And I'm gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna find out why here in just a minute. So we're just gonna take and, and, and have a bowl right here so we can pour off that water instead of, most people like to pick it up and, and let that water drip right back in, in that grease and stuff. Man, that's not good. Don't do that. That, that makes that popping mess everywhere. Now, if you want to burn your hands all up and your arms all up and hurt the rest of the day, then go ahead and do that, all right? But I don't like to hurt all day. So I just take, take and lift it, pick it up, put it right over here, all right? Now we're letting that bacon fry up a little bit. We're going to cut it up to medium high. Now, I like to use these things right here. I don't know what you call them. I call them the grabbers. So I got my grabbers out, and we're going to use these grabbers. And uh, see how that bacon right there? Now it's got a good, good browning on that one side, and it just turns right loose, look at there. Oh yeah, so we're gonna turn the heat up there a little bit, cut the fire up. That'll make it hotter, see? We're gonna put this on here. That'll help you clean up good, it keeps it from splattering all over the kitchen and getting everywhere. Now my robo mop, Ace, he don't like it when I use that because he ain't got quite as much to come around and clean up. That's all right. He'll get some dog food later on. Well, we might give him a little piece of scrap when we eat breakfast. All right, it's cooking up really good here. So we're gonna take this lid, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put this in. See how that drips in that, that bowl right there? Yeah, that's what you wanna do right there. So we're gonna take a look at this bacon. Yeah, buddy, it's coming along pretty good. We probably could use a little more fire. We're gonna put a little more fire to it. Not on high, don't wanna do it on high. It'll burn really fast on you, you ain't careful. All right, we're going to look at this bacon here. I got my grabbers, and we're going to check it out. We're going to let the water go right open here. Yeah, all right, that's looking all right. I don't like bacon chewy. I like it crispy. Yeah, I do. So I never about burn my bacon. I don't know, that piece right there looking pretty good. We're going to turn him over. We're going to turn him over, look like this, see there? Woo, see how nice them grabbers work? Now you can do this with a fork if you want to. I don't want to, so I'm gonna use this, this here grabber. Yeah, buddy. Look right here, see this? See that little little ear? I just leave it propped like that, just leave a little vent hole. Let some of that steam out on it, all right? This is just a splatter guard. You don't have to do this, but it sure makes cleaning up a whole lot easier. All right, we're gonna check this bacon out right here, all right? Let's see what we got. Oh, that's perfect. That's the way I like my bacon. Let me set that down right up there. 
All right, take this bacon out. Well, see, look at there. I love it nice and brown. Near about burnt. Now that is crispy bacon right there. Now, if you don't like it crispy, then you won't like this bacon. It's cooked too long. You have to take it out a little earlier. I put it on that paper towel there so it'll catch some of that grease and all. But I'm gonna tell you right here, woo, you don't that bacon look good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it some gravy and we're gonna have us some gravy biscuits and some bacon. Boy, I know you wish you were here. You know what, I wish you were here too. Well, that's it for making bacon today, folks. I hope you have a great day. I love you, bye-bye. Hey y'all, don't forget to mash the subscribe and the like button. I'd appreciate it. And tell all your friends to watch Cuckoo with Coo. I'll teach them how to make their food happy.